Yo, this is the prof. And like I always say, if you're down with the real shit and you're not down with the bullshit, subscribe and like this video. Yo, um, uh, this is a short one I'm just going to drop real quick. Uh, uh, it's the whole thing about like, um, yo, man, when you make a mistake in life, just own it. If you make a mistake, just own it. If you find out or realize that sometimes you were talking about stuff where you thought you knew something, but you come to find out that you didn't have enough information on something, so you didn't really know the true ins and outs with, of whatever you, you were uh, talking about, own it, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with admitting you're wrong. There's nothing wrong with saying I made a mistake, but the killer thing about it is people have heard that, that's been said, people know that. But it's like a cliche type thing. A lot of times, um, a lot of uh, 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 people will sit up and say, hey, if I make a mistake or if I don't know something, I admit to it. That's a damn lie. Because, you know, um, people who got a lot of knowledge about things, um, I'm pretty sure like the ones who truthfully do, they can testify to, to this. Because you have to, at some point, learn to kind of like just be quiet because coming up, you will see a lot of times like dealing with your friends and family members, they'll say things, get the referencing stuff and you will know what the actual fact or truth is about something. And you're like, you're going way off to the left or way off to the right and just creating this story. And you're like, that shit ain't true. But when you try to explain that to them, like, no, that's, that's not well because of some of them being where they're like, I don't, I hate being wrong because they feel a sense of embarrassment or, or being ridiculed because of that. They will start an argument defending their perspective or their thought on something. And it's not based upon them knowing that they were right. It's just based upon, they don't want to look bad, you know, or they might have such an issue with you. Because let me tell you something. You have a lot of people. When you are known for your intellect, you have a lot of people that are jealous and envious of that. Even though they were never a scholar type person. Um, growing up, never were astute, weren't big on reading or nothing like that. And that's okay. But the crazy thing about it is is how you look at people and at some point in their, their their life, some idea pops off in their head to where now they want to be revered as a scholar or a person of great intellect. And they were never like that ever before. Never was known for that or anything like that. And so they start perpetrating. They start, you know, um, pretending to have knowledge on a wide variety of subjects. They just basically speak on these things so they are on various different things. So it can appear to look like they're very knowledgeable about various different things. But then you'll be hearing the stuff come out of your mouth. You're like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, that's not how I go. That's not how I go. That's not what it is. That's not. And then those, those will be those people like, you know, you're not really trying to uh, correct them or issue, or issue just this, this whole correction type of thing where you're trying to shame them or whatever but you know if we're trying to get to the truth here if we're trying to really you know tell facts then the true definition has to be there if that's what we're trying to do or we are we just having a conversation where we're sitting up here just you know bullshitting each other like you know i'm not for a lot of bullshit i don't i don't like bullshit conversations they don't make me feel better to me. They don't do the other person any good either. And I'm the kind of person where this is what I used to tell people from time to time. I would say, hey, you know what? This is how I feel about people who like to lie. I don't mind you lying if that's what you want to do. Just don't tell those lies to me. You know, you going around here and you want to bullshit people, whatever. But sometimes I would just tell people, like, you know, my whole thing is just don't lie to me. Don't come to me 
I'm nobody that you got to try to impress or, you know, I'm okay with you being who, who you are. You know, you do not have to uh, try to do the things that I do. You do not have to be like me because the only thing that anybody can do in this world is be the best person that they can be. That that right there is like uh, almost like cliche because a lot of people don't listen to it. They don't really take that to heart. But that statement is really true. You know, that's all you really can do. Be the best that you can do. You know, because when you try to be like other people and do like other people, what happens is you get exposed because uh, you're not doing it right. You know, you don't really have that skill. You don't really have that knowledge. And so when you're perpetrating like that, it comes out because people that know, know. And you're either going to have people that's going to tell you that or some people just, oh, okay. Well, he, if that's what he or she wants to think or say. Yeah. And then they'll get together with somebody else. You know, I, I, it's been numerous, numerous times where I've had experiences where people like, let's say you have a group, three, four people, and someone goes, oh, yeah, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And it's just people just running their mouth, running their mouth, running their mouth. And later on, like, somebody else was in the group, they be like, hey, man, uh, hey, man, can you tell me, why was so-and-so saying this and saying that and making it seem like he knew so much about Whatever we were talking about, whether it was sports, whether it was basketball, or whether it was something that had to do with music, or whether it had something to do with uh, some aspect of history. And they, and they would say, hey, man, now I know you study that shit. you always been like that. You know, um, since we were coming up when we were kids, you were, you'd be, you talking the same way we always been talking. But I ain't never knew this fool right here to actually be like that. Or, no, they, what? So I'm just wondering, what the fuck is he doing? I'm just, I, and I just be like, I don't know. I, I I just be like, I don't know. I just like, you know, he's just like, hey, man, like, what the fuck, you know? And um, it's different individuals where I've seen them act like this. And um, I mean, it, it's like, I remember situations where uh, seeing guys talk to girls and you be with the guy. And he starts telling the girl all about, yeah, you know, this, this, this would, this is what some dudes would do. They would talk to a girl and they, they have a conversation with a girl they just met or something like that. So I talk about, yeah, you know, um, you know, I got my motorcycle and this and that. I got a Harley Davidson. And, uh, you know, I got a fucking uh, drop top Mustang, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sitting on things, but it's in the shop right now. The, the one cap that a lot of dudes will always tell uh, 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 females, the dudes who did that. I ain't gonna say all dudes do it. It was just the dudes that did this shit. Um, they would always tell them they got these cars and these plus got. They always got the two fifteens in the trunk and four twelves in on the inside and uh, 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 on the on the on the doors and they always had like a, 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 a two six by nines in the in the front. Not, but the car was always in the shop. You know. Uh, yeah, you know, four or five thousand the, the watt amp, crossover amp, and oh, the, and, and, and and then the killer thing about it, what I would trip off of is when they would look at me and be like, "Hey, blood, hey, hey, tell them, tell, tell them," what's, and you look at like, "What? What the fuck you putting in this fucking?" I'm like, "Oh hell no, man." I'm like, "Then he gonna try to put you in the lie?" Tell him I tell him he didn't even tell you that he was gonna do that or attempt to. You like what? And he's really expecting, he, you got dudes like that but looking at it like, well, if you're my friend, you're supposed to co-sign that shit so I can get this girl, you know. Or your family member, whatever, you like, fool, you making a fool out of your damn self. Why you just don't be who the fuck you are? Why the hell you tell, and then you gonna try to throw me in a lot too. And I would trip like, you know, like I said, a lot of people would be saying, if I didn't do so, they'd be telling a damn lie. I've seen the main people, a lot of times when a person keeps on repeating a, like something almost like a damn mantra you know i don't do this i don't say no you didn't you didn't accuse them of that you didn't say that nobody did but if they, it, it goes back to the old saying of when people used to say if somebody tells you to trust them you probably shouldn't when the person gets it oh one thing about it i always if i didn't do something not that probably the person a damn lie something you did when you say you did shit you did not do it uh one thing about me i don't lie you know, I tell the truth, I ain't got nothing to lie about. Somebody, if you keep hearing them say that all the time, they probably is a damn liar. Um, you know, 
uh, if if they keep telling you, if they keep trying to put on um, different um, uh, 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 claim to have different attributes and stuff uh, all the time. I'm this. I'm that. Uh, what did KRS One say? Say uh, uh, rappers be talking about I'm so and so. I'm this and I'm that. But they all just wick, wick, wick. A lot of times when a person is braggadocious, falsely about having certain attributes or uh, um, uh, um, or accreditations, uh, but they, they've never been known for that. Nobody ever says that. that they just, they just saying, that's the thing they say to make themselves feel better. And, you know, it, it you know, but you wind up making a fool out of yourself because people who know you know that none of that shit is true. You know, you got a lot of people who just, yo, man, like, you ever hear about people say, they talk about a person, they say, well, one thing about so-and-so might be a neighbor, somebody, you know, whatever. They say, well, hey, all I know is one thing about so-and-so, he gets up every day, he goes to work, come home, you know what I'm saying? He don't bother anybody, you know? Uh, I've never known him to get into any trouble. He's nice, he speaks when you speak to him, you know what I'm saying? He's a cool guy. Hey, man, in some cases, man, that's a real good thing, man. You, that's at least people. That's people speaking positive about you. But just imagine if that's not good enough for you. So you start making a fake personas, start uh, claiming fake attributes, saying that you're known for being a great this, a great that, known for being this. And you know, ain't nobody said that shit about you. At the same damn time, what's gonna happen? And it be people. And, and and mind you, there's some real people even in your family. That will even say the same. They, they, they remind you, or they'll say something to like you. You know, you might see somebody family and say, "Hey, man, it's, he claimed that he did this and he did that and blah blah blah." Did he ever do this? Man, my, shh, I don't know what's wrong with my cousin, man. He's growing up and shit, man. That man talking about all this player shit and whatever. Man, the first piece of ass he had, he was about twenty-two years old, man. And um, he had went out there on the track and he had paid this bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who used to, uh, he used to always say she looked cute. Well, bro, really was like toe up, man. The bitch was, like, she was fucking, fucking fucked up, man. Damn bro looked like, the bitch face looked like bad cheese and shit, nigga. He, you know, she was some kind of weird looking ass fucking bro. But he's always talking about she was cute. Like, you don't seem like, you know, one of them types that got them weird type of taste and all that type of shit in things. You know, and then even with that, like, let's say you like shit that, that the majority of people don't like. Yo, man, so what? But you ain't got to go through this whole bullshit spiel trying to make people think, if you don't like what I like, that's because you stupid and you dumb and blah, blah, blah. And and then I trip off people who always like try to be like, their thoughts is the majority of what people thought, when really it's the opposite. Yeah, people really don't like. Going to so and so be a place people like to go, whatever. So, yeah, you know, pe uh, people really don't like this team. Everybody really do like that team. But you like, but they try to create their own world of truth, and that's what makes people think you're fucking crazy and shit like that. So the whole thing about it is, man, yo, own who you really are, and understand perpetrating trying to be something you're not and trying to be somebody else. That's gonna get you more you know, bad criticism than if you would just be yourself. I don't know, man. It's really crazy. There's a lot of people out there, man. Like, and you, y'all know that shit. You got friends, family members, you just be like, damn, dog. So, and then when somebody else say that, hey, you be like, ah. Why are your friend always in the middle of your you be like, ah. And it makes you feel bad. But these be people you care about and you love, but the shit that people are saying, they telling the truth. So you can't discount because then they looking at you saying, okay, come on. Come on, so-and-so. Now, you know that motherfucker be talking all dumb and retarded and stupid about shit he don't fucking know and all that fucking shit. You know, don't lie now. I know it's your partner whatever, but you know that nigga be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't even lie for him. Because if you do that, it make you fake. Or you got a relative and, and somebody know, you know your family man, and he be like, oh, God, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because see, those type of people, another thing, what they think is, if you're with me, you know you're supposed to support that bullshit, or else you're not a true fan or a true family member. Cause they think you were helping them embarrass me and make me look bad by saying that I didn't do that, or I'm a liar or whatever. 
what the fuck? So they'd rather have you caught up with that shit so both of y'all look like some lying ass fools. Oh, what am I? Nah, I can't do that shit. Fuck that. Like, yo, bro. Peace.